Hi y'all and welcome to my channel. If you have sensitive skin and enjoy skincare, makeup, beauty, or self-care in general, then welcome. Um, I am an adult and as such I do have opinions and occasionally use vulgar language. If you're going to find that offensive, you can go ahead and leave now. That being said, today I'd like to talk about cleansing bombs. Ooh, bombs. <laughs> uh, I went through all my empties today, and so I decided to go through some of them that I have used completely and tell you how I enjoyed them. Hmm. And the first one we're going to start with today is the Beauty of Joe Zahn Radiance Cleansing Balm. And it looks like this. Let me see if I can get in there. There we go. Now this, I believe, I bought off of Yes Style. Um, it's a fine cleansing balm. It does its job. Um, what I can tell you, I'm going to go over a few of the things that are in the formula. Uh, we've got surfactants, emulsifiers. Uh, you do have some lavender water, which I don't really agree with lavender oil. And the lavender water in this didn't really irritate my skin. Uh, and it also has lactobacillus ferment, which is a probiotic. It's very low on the list of ingredients, and it is a long list of ingredients. Um, so I don't know how useful the probiotics in this is. Um, as far as irritating my skin, um, occasionally maybe it did, but not so much as I wouldn't use it. And it was usually on those days that I probably exfoliated a little too much. But I can tell you that the fragrance on this is super strong for me. Um, I did not enjoy it. I ended up just throwing this thing in my shower. So when I showered and needed to double cleanse, I would use it in there because it's not something that I particularly wanted to use every day just for the fragrance. It also was not real great at removing uh, mascara. And I don't use waterproof mascara, so... That's saying something, but I also don't grind my eyes like a lot of people do because I'm old and don't want to tear my face up. So as far as recommending it for someone with sensitive skin, uh, I probably wouldn't. It's not a bad cleansing balm, but it's not one of the better ones I've tried. Now, the second one I want to talk about is the Derma E Universal Cleansing Balm. Let's see if I can get that in there. There we go. Now this I bought because I'd run out of my normal cleansing balm and it was available. They could ship it to me fairly quickly and so I purchased it. Now, ingredients wise, it has your normal emollients and emulsifiers. Uh, it has safflower seed oil and sunflower seed oil. Uh, it also has cocoa seed butter and shea butter. Rose hip oil. It also has tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate, which is a vitamin C. Uh, it also has retinol, um, but it also has two essential oils, which I'm not real fond of putting on my skin, which is bergamot oil and orange sweet oil or sweet orange oil. Uh, both of them are known to be irritants to skin. Uh, now, what I can say is that this particular cleansing balm, it worked better than the Beauty of Joe's On, okay. Uh, the texture of it was a little thinner than the Beauty of Joe's On, uh, but the smell, considering the oils and everything else that's in it, the smell to me reminds me of bubblegum. I know that's weird, but it smelled like bubblegum to me. Now, I had just come out of surgery, so it could just be all of that that was causing that, but I didn't mind the smell. It didn't irritate my skin. But just like the Beauty of Joe's On, I did not find it super effective at removing mascara. Would I suggest this for people with sensitive skin? Probably not, especially if you have probably eczema or rosacea or something like that, because those oils are probably going to irritate that. But normal, normal skin, oily skin, this is probably fine. I also found that this did not when it emulsified, did not rinse off as well as some of the other balms, but I think that's because of the butters that are in it. Uh, but it wasn't bad. I don't hate it. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Now, the third is a tried and true, if you have ever worn makeup and ever been in a department store, it is the Clinique Take the Day Off. Ooh. Ooh. 
Now this thing was my go-to for removing makeup for years. Um, it's unscented. Uh, it doesn't bother my eyes, though if you get it in your eyes, just like any cleansing balm, it kind of gives you that blurry vision. Um, but it, it's very, very effective. I can tell you that it takes off waterproof mascara. Uh, now, in the Clinique, it's got a very short list of ingredients, but, uh, you know, you've got your emulsifiers, your emollients, and safflower seed oil. Mmm, no fragrance. Um... This is a very good makeup remover, especially for eye makeup. Uh, I have no qualms with it. The formula might be better, but if you're just looking for something that's going to take it off and it's going to last forever, this is your boy. Clinique, take the day off. Now, the last one I'm going to talk about is the one I have repeatedly bought over, bought, bought, oh my lord, bought over and over. And in fact, I have backups to backups because it's normally out of stock. And it is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. Now, just to be honest, I have three of them empty here. <laughs> That's how much cleansing balm I go through. But um, this is also fragrance free. Um, Let's see, it has your normal emulsifiers, surfactants, uh, you also have emollients in there, you have sweet almond oil, oat kernel oil, oat kernel flour, it also has ascorbyl palmitate, which is vitamin C, um, sun, oh, sunflower seed oil, and again, it's fragrance free. Um, this thing takes everything off my face, eye makeup, mascara, Glitter glue, you name it, it's off my face. Foundation, gone. Uh, there are some people this does not work for. But what I can also tell you is where I live, people talk about how hard it is to squeeze this out of the tube. This has never been that thick for me when I have received it. So it's easily squeezed out, rub it in between my hands, smoosh it all over my face, and it emulsifies so well into this milky, it rinses clean, and my skin is soft afterwards. It's why I keep purchasing it. And it is dirt cheap for a cleansing balm. I think it's around, when I bought it, I think it was around $10, $9.99. Um, I cannot say enough good things about this. There's no essential oils. There's no fragrance. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm testing two other cleansing balms and a cleansing oil right now. Uh, and so I'll let you know about those when I get those done. But tried and true, this always works for me. Um, what about you guys? What's your favorite cleansing balm? What works for you? Um, let me know down in the comments uh, if you have any opinions of what I've reviewed today, uh, what you think of them and how they worked for you. Um, anywho, if you like what you saw today, thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and notification bell if you want to know when I'm releasing new videos. And uh, thanks so much for watching if you found me. Uh, and have a great day. Bye!